<laughs> oh, good. Let's go and stretch out. Oh, make sure you try and get outside before the clouds come. Exhale down because it's the Orionids. It's the the tail stuff of Haley's Comet of 76 years ago. And it's coming across the sky right now, tonight, tomorrow night, the next night. And it should be, and they're the kind of residuals that have um, like a little fire tail with them. So it's worth it to bundle up and hang out under the stars. And if it's late at night, you can see Orion is coming back. Uh oh, there's the one arm, the one arm banded up there. <laughs> oh, I miss Suze. Inhale up, exhale down. Breathe in up. Three more, lifting up and down. And up, and up, and hold the arms up, look up, and humbly just slide on down the heart line, nestle the thumbs at the breastplate, extend the spine and soften the eyelids, breathe in and breathe out easily, and let's just take a moment of pausing to let the outer distractions dissipate and invite ourselves to cultivate an intimate relationship with our breath. Invite ourselves to be very conscious of that befriending of self that allows us to increase the healing aspects of our practice. It seems we all have a lot of things going on, so it's a perfect opportunity to settle in softly and regain our strength or find that center path, that place in between the yin and the yang, that funny paradox. We want that smooth, dusty path, that trail down the middle before the extreme edges. So we can ask ourselves to heal that which is asking for our attention to strengthen our opportunity to give and soothe others and to find our reconnoiter, our internal balance and strength. Let's invite ourselves to enhance our creativity and our kindness, our compassion, to kind of re-strengthen our physical well-being to soothe ourselves into the strength of meditation and that ability to really manifest healing, not just think about it or yearn for, but to manifest the power of the prana and our strength of our spiritual selves to heal others and heal ourselves. Just breathe in and lift the arms up and overhead and exhale off to the right side. Just easy range of motion, loosen up, find yourself settled in the weight evenly distributed on the sit bones, shoulders down and away from the earlobes, breath large, massaging the organs, keeping the chest lifted away from the pubic bone. And exhale, slide the hands along the ground into the center and inhale, lift up. And exhale, spiral off to the left side. Roll the shoulders, extend the spine, stack the bones up. Feel yourself letting the back of the skull push back maybe like an inch so that, or half an inch so that it really lines up with the spine. Keep opening up the chest. And easy exhaling, bring the hands around, sweep out up and overhead, and humbly slide on down the heart line. Pausing at the breastplate, just beginning to observe and witness that gathering of the energy. 
And then let's shift the feet, whichever foot you had in front. Those of you, the couple of you are sitting cross legged, go ahead and cross the other leg on top. And Brenda, you might want to unwind your legs so they don't freeze. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, good. Oh, you're sitting. Oh, I didn't know you were sitting cross legged. And easy back to our familiarity, arms up overhead, let's pulse off, rubber band style, elbow over the ear, make sure you're not too far front, and make sure you're not too far back, just be directly off the mid upper thigh with your right hand, chin is out, face is pleasant, I'm looking for the birds, I'll let you know. And breathe back up into a happy cactus and let's spin and loosen it up. Ah, yum. Namah Shivaya. Back into the center, arms out and up and overhead. And exhale off to the left side. Keep that left elbow bending softly so there's a real sense of rebounding back up, elasticity. Good, better. And then easy, once more, back up into the center, spin, spin, spin. And easy, sweep the arms out, up, and overhead. Let's separate the arms and turn to the right knee, and let's just stretch out and line up the shoulders to make a T over that right thigh. Just softly, keeping the left bottom anchored on the ground. Good, elbows kind of stay high. Those of you with the hips, I think you each have different hips. So. <laughs> I know. Don't throw up, Fred. <laughs> After we've taken the flu shot. <laughs> and easy. Inhale, lift up again. Arms up and overhead. Separate the arms. Let's spin off to the left side. Bow down over the thigh. Torque the shoulders. Keep the right bottom and the right outer thigh anchored so that you increase that distance in that kind of irritating area of the lower back, the mid back, allowing yourself to, again, practice that rebounding, that elasticity, that rubber band style of the body. And once more, and then easy inhale, lift up, stretch the arms up overhead, happy cactus. Elbows back, chest swings up, palms kind of angle at 45 degrees. And then the chest lifts up, the shoulders are down, the wings are squeezed together. Throat is up, inhale through the nose, exhale, tongue out to the chin. Ah. Inhale, exhale, ah. inhale, exhale, ah. inhale, exhale, ah. once more, inhale. Exhale, ah. inhale, head up. Take the arms up overhead, touch the fingertips, back down to happy cactus. Keep pressing down in the armpits, inhale. Fingertips, exhale, back down. Push down in the armpit so they feel the chest really broad and opening. Inhale up, exhale down. Ah. Inhale up, exhale down. Ah. Once more up, exhale down, and then easy, swing the arms, easy, back behind you, twine the fingers, ah, roll the shoulders. We have to move parks in about three weeks, so it'll be some other place. Roll the shoulders down, roll the shoulders back and down, the fingers are twined, and the depending on, again, your wrists and your shoulders, you kind of take the hands away from your tailbone, but you add a little bit of your mula bandha so that you kind of feel yourself engaged with the earth, kind of 
pressing down on your sit bones and lifting up in your root lock so that you feel that you could float up off your magic carpet. The arms are stretched back. <laughs> yes, Rusty, on your magic carpet. Shoulder, chin is up a little more for Ed. Hands are back off the tailbone. Now sit back a little bit, almost like you want to tip backwards and find out what anchors you and keeps you. Roll both shoulders back a little more, Fred. That's it. And then easy, relax the hands without collapsing the spine. Let the hands untwine, take the hands, and then give yourself a little disco figure eight. Elbows are gonna go high. Did you ever go to the disco, Fred? You never went to the Rage in Santa Monica in WeHo? <laughs> That's West Hollywood. And then go the other way. So the elbow goes up. Elbow goes up like this. Er, 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 er. Chin is up. And then shake him out. Take the outside hands, pull the knees together, stretch the legs out. Oh, goodness. Wiggle your toes, because they're probably kind of falling asleep, as it were. Rub that inner rebar, really squeeze that it's not really fat, it's just a pad on the inside of your kneecap. There's like a good grip area. And then you rub on those inner adductors, top of the thighs. Let's go ahead and just activate the gut. And easy the kidneys. So noisy here today. And then the side body. Ah, lymphatics. Up across the chest. Oh, really, is get those well being areas circulate. Especially if you've been lying around feeling lousy or unable to come. Hi, Rusty. You have an admirer, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> so cute shake out your hands easy open the legs a little wider just for effect pull your buns back behind you Freddie does your mom call you Freddie she used to yeah and, but no longer <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> quiet on that one <laughs> okay, toast to the sky. <laughs> Inhale, lift it up. Look how big he got. Arms up overhead. Separate. Let's turn over to the right leg and just bow down. Bow down, breathe in, breathe out. Slide back towards the knee. Right hand goes out on the inside, uh, I mean, on the shin bone. And then stretch that left arm. Gaze follows the left fingers. Stretch open. Use the left wing bone and shoulder. And then the arm and the hands and the eyes. Again, opening up. Two more breaths. For some reason, we're on a five breath. Now easy, drop that left elbow, the right elbow inside the thigh and stretch the left arm over your ear. And let the head turn and dangle and then adjust itself. Again, if you can sit your spine back an inch or two more than you're used to and get your elbow over your ear, really, you, ah, much better, there you are. Breathe in, breathe out. One more breath. And then inhale, float it on up. 
separate the arms. <sighs> Inhale. Long arms up to the sky, baby. Turn to the left leg and bow down over the top of the left leg. <sighs> Torquing the body, creating that T across the shoulders, keeping the legs engaged, softening through the elbows so the weight of your torso allows that surrender to occur in your spine and in your back and in the back of your hamstrings to allow yourself instead of resisting, but allow yourself to surrender. And then sliding the hands back easy towards the knee, left hand goes out, thumb on the inside of the shin, four fingers on the outside, reach the arm, Inhale and lift up. Again, spiral the upper torso. Lift the chest. Push the heels away from you. Reach through the right fingers. Stretch that arm a little more, a little higher, friend. And then roll the shoulders. That's good. Nice, girls. Breathe in, breathe out. <sighs> Oh, inhale, exhale the elbow inside the thigh and go ahead and stretch the right arm over the ear, pointing towards the toes, sitting heavily in the right hip. And again, lift your head a little bit, lift your chin and sit back so that your spine and shoulder are almost behind the thigh, that you shift the weight so you've settled in and you keep that alignment going, breathing in, breathing out. Beautiful. Wiggle your toes. And then inhale and lift on up, float on up, arms up and overhead. And easy, come around back behind you. Roll the shoulders, palms, I mean the heels of the hands face your tailbone. Breathe in, breathe out. Again, press down on the heels of the hands. Press out through the heels of your feet. Lift your chest up. Create that vulnerability and that strength. Just think about the Orionids. Orionids. It's a funny word. Breathe in, breathe out. Stargazing. That's what's happening. Stargazing. It's very dark moon, so it's an excellent time to see. Breathing in, breathing out. And then inhale, lift your, go ahead and lift your hips up. Lift your hips up, stretch the legs. Good, are you breathing? Good. Uh, and down you come and easy. Bring the hands around, shake them out. Om Mani Padme Om. Easy, hands underneath the thighs. Drag the legs in, easy. Squeeze the chest to the thighs. Drop your head on your knees. Now hold on to your knees and stretch your arms so you roll back behind the tailbone. Good. Hold on to your wrists, Fred, so you get a little more length in your arms. Or you can twine the, the hands, twine your fingers, straighten your elbows and just pull your belly in and stretch back. Don't roll unless you want to. Preventative measures. And then easy, sit back up. Take the right leg underneath, the left leg on top. Oops. Sorry. All of a sudden, I followed my own rules. Oh. Push the heel away. Okay, you got your pillow. Are you comfortable like this? Or you can stretch your lower leg if you want to. You want to sit, be able to sit on both sit bones. Yes, let it be on your right buns. Let your left bun drop down to the ground. Ah. 
jaw easy. Hug the thigh towards the chest. Roll the shoulders, extend the neck. And exaggerate the breathing. You know, this hour we spend is really about a little bit to the edge so that you not only have a deep relaxation, but you have a little bit of a push towards the capacity of the oxygen in the body that you give yourself a little bit of sensation. The sensation is to really breathe in so that the lower ribs press against the thighs and that stretch occurs in the upper outer hip area. The neck is long, breath is full. And then easy left arm is going to reach up, gaze follows, gaze up, and then take the left wing and arc back, look over the left fingers, drop the hand down somewhere behind your left bun, and wrap your right elbow around your thigh, keeping it hugged close to the belly. Backhand can slide closer to the hip. Give yourself the entire opportunity for quiet, receptive stimulation. Breathing in, breathing out, really circulating that synovial fluid. Breathing into the very marrow of your bones, extending the spine from behind the ears, hugging that thigh into your body. Breathe in, breathe out. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Breathing in, breathing out. And then easy, let that back hand come and wrap around the front shin. Take your right arm and swing back. Stay up straight first so that you have that kind of elegant sculpture look to your stance, to your creation, that how you have your body in space. And then easy, go ahead and bow down. Let your elbows raise up. Let the chest drop towards the ground, just releasing. And easy, sitting on back up. And let's take that left leg and open it back up. Do you hear, is it too noisy for you guys? No. I'm a little close to the traffic, but I found shade, so. Okay, we're going to practice. Watch out for the furniture, Fred. Happy cactus. So without thinking, you're going to dive off to the right side. Hands down, buns up, spin around, plop down. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yes. Yes, he, he likes his tuffet. Brenda, you just rolled right off your pillow. <laughs> and then easy, pull that right leg in and let's set the self up. Push that left foot away from the hip. A little bit of rocking going. <sighs> Easy. Get yourself oriented. Put the glue that front inner thigh right to your body. Loosen the jaw, extend the neck. There should be a freedom in your head. That's a line, that could be a book. Let there be freedom in your head. <laughs> and easy, take that right arm, reach out. And then as you reach up, just with yearning in a sense, and then with opening and grace, you 
Open that right shoulder and the right hand. It comes right around near your tailbone with spider fingers. And then you wrap that left elbow around your thigh, around your knee, tuck it in. Look over the right shoulder. Good, breathing in, breathing out. You can swing the head, you can shift your own hips. Find where you the heaviness, that earthiness, that connectedness through the pelvis. Twist that body, go for it. Massaging those organs, stimulating the circulation. But in the body, move and easy. And easy, flattening the belly, sliding that right arm around, gripping the chest, let the left arm come around, open up the chest. First, you're sitting nice and tall, that unwinding. That spaciousness that's created, that circulation, the flushing of the organs. Hi. So cute. And then exhale. Hi, fancy. Got brush today. And then easy. Lean over, bow down. Let the chest open up. The head drop down. Good, careful of the bed, Fred. There you go. There you go. So you relax into it. It may feel odd, but it's nothing's going to happen bad. You've got your fingers to support you. That's good, Suze. Talk to the hips, girls. And then easy, lift on back up and go ahead and take that right leg open and sit up nice and tall. So you have, it's that casual discussion, talking about the great Hindu gods. It could take days and months. There's so many of them. You talk about how the energy flows through the body, how the organs rebalance and have more space now. You've really created a good opportunity for accentuating your healing. Hands are up easy, and here we go. Without thinking, just dive off left. Hands down, buns up, swing around, plop down. Oh my goodness, the ice cream truck's going by. <laughs> and easy stretch the legs out easy open up hang on to your shin bones and just give yourself a little easy legs should be tingling and feel great yes or no yes yes fred yeah it does feel good oh. <laughs> good we're hoping for that kind of response Om Namo Ho Bhagavate. And easy. Let's slide the hands back in, pull the legs in, stretch the legs out in front of you. Simply just check into a forward bend. Pull the skin of your buns back behind you. Inhale, lift up, fold out over your legs. Good. So hey, oh, good job. Hang on wherever you can. Rock a little bit to release any area that might have gotten stuck. And then easy, slide your hands back by your shin bones. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bow down. Inhale, stack the vertebra, sweep the arms up. Bow down. Inhale, lift up. 
and bow down. And once more, inhale, lift up and bow down. And inhale, arms up and overhead. Hands come beside you, open up the feet just about six inches, bring the hands back and just lift your hips up. Shake the hips a little bit. That's good with the shoulders. Good job. Let the hips roll a little bit and easy lower down. Let's swing around and go right into child's pose. Mm -hmm. I was going to show you some of the sky because the sky is just crazy beautiful today. Of course, it's hard in child's pose, I guess. It's such a beautiful day. So the world has so much beauty. We need to really remember how wonderful it is. Child's pose, knees are wide. Big toes touching, lay down in between. You can fold the hands in prayer pose up over the back of your skull. Giving yourself every opportunity to Kill yourself, connect with the divine, connect with the mother. It's that organic surrender, that imagination or faith or trust that by aligning with the divine ley lands or the ley lines or the energetic field of the planet and yourself that you up the ante, you know, you become a little more powerful, a little more attuned, a little more with it. And you have opportunity to give and to receive. So allow the spine to relax, that energy to flow into the center of your skull. Inner thighs are soft, prayers go out around the world. Prayers go into your internal world as well. The breath moves large into the back lungs. Good, and then easy, roll the hands over, extend the hands out in front of you. Fingers dig into the earth. Good. Mm -hmm. Shimmy and shake. And easy, come up onto all fours and let's pull the knees in and circle the hips. It should be pretty lubricated. Pretty good. Good. Let your head be a little, keep that chin open. And then circle the other direction. Keep that throat free flowing. Breath just moves without any inhibition into the lungs. Easy, back into cat and cow. Oh, again, finding that exaggerated arch when you're in your cow pose, but the belly drops and the shoulders are back and the chest really pulls forward and you feel that kind of massaging of the lower spine, that extension and opening of your gut and exhaling, looking through. And easy, curl your toes and sit back on your heels. Look at your arms, stretch your arms out far away from you. Let the elbow creases articulate and squeeze in towards each other. Look at your toes. I mean, no, they're called fingertips. <laughs> and easy, we're just going to hinge right up into a low crouch, a low down dog crouch, strong in the arms. Long in the spine, ears between the upper arms, ribs against the thighs, breathe in, breathe out, press on the forefinger and the thumb, 
And then easy, stretch the bottom up to the sky, raise your heels, and then pulse and pedal your heels towards the ground. Pulse your chest towards your thighs. Mm. And then both heels are high and then drop both heels. Arms are straight, ears between the upper arms. Really keep that, lift your chin, Fred. Drop your shoulder, that just a little bit. Good, ears between the upper arms, long straight spine, buns to the sky. Take a wide stance so that the distance between the toes and the heel of the hands is exaggerated. It gives you a lot of distance so that now when we inhale together in the plank pose, we don't have to adjust the feet or the arms. And you hold it and then you inhale, exhale back into down dog, hinging through the shoulders, inhaling back into plank, exhaling into down dog, inhaling into plank, three push ups, Ooh, two, three, three more, one, two. Three and easy. The knees go down, the chest goes down, and you slide your legs back behind you and slide your elbows forward so that you're in uh, Sphinx. I love Sphinx. Sphinx is so nice. So easy, rock your hips. Big pause. Elbows are close to the body. Stretch the legs out and see if you can get your little toes on the ground. But you can act, activate your bikini bottom. You can slide your chest forward, drop the shoulders down. Pull the upper chest away from your pubic bone. So those unattached ribs, as you breathe, they create a lot of space and a lot of stretch. It's like a baby wanting to crawl. Breathe in, breathe out. And then look over the shoulders to see if you can wiggle the head and see your heels. And come back into the center and lift the chest, look up. And then roll on down and easy hands underneath the um, shoulders, elbows up. You're gonna inhale back onto all fours, sit back towards your heels, stretch your arms out nice and long, pull your knees together so that you're in a traditional child's pose. And now dig your fingertips in and lift up your palms and kind of shimmy the chest. Keep your bottom glued to your heels and walk your hands off to the right side. That right hand is gonna slide back in spider fingers so that you really give yourself a huge stretch through your left shoulder. We're doing this in, in memory of Andrew's shoulder. <laughs> so keep the palm up. You can feel the stretch from your little finger all through your tricep, your outer deltoid, all through that upper back and shoulder girdle area. Looking back at your right hand, keeping the ribs on the thighs, breathing in and breathing out. And then easy, Mitchy march back into the center, shimmy and shake again. Glue your fanny to your tailbone. Walk the left arms out. Really stretch the, uh, the both arms out, sorry. Really stretch your arms long and let that left hand come back a little bit to give you, like you push. I push with my left fingers and I reach through my right spider fingers so that I feel it in my shoulder girdle. I feel how it articulates that range of motion. And I sit heavy in the right bottom. Good. And then Mitchie March back into the center. Shimmy and shake. Shimmy and shake. 
Lay the hands down. Inhale up onto all fours and easy. Curl the toes. Sit back and stretch your legs up to the sky. I mean, no, stretch your bottom <laughs> up into down dog. That's next. You're going to take your left leg up to the sky. Open it out into fire hydrant. Strong arms, strong fingers, knee towards the sky. Careful of the furniture, Fred. Good. Watch the shoulders, girls. And then bring the leg back into parallel. Inhale. Bring the nose to the knee. Exhale. Inhale. Kick it back up. Exhale. Nose to knee. Inhale. Back up. Nose to knee. Inhale. Back up. Look between the hands. Drag that left foot forward into runner's lunge. Good. Get yourselves organized. Just feeling that left foot planted in the earth, that front foot planted in the earth. The back knee is off. Is your back knee off, Fred? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, and now drop the groin a little closer to the earth. Lift the chest a little more. Keep the back heel pressed away from you. Breathe in, breathe out. And then easy and softly lower that back knee. Try not to lower the kneecap. Try and stay in front of the kneecap. Front knee is safe over the front foot. I'm going to swing the chest up and see if you can hold on to the front knee. That's good. That's the, the bed, Fred. <laughs> Drop the shoulders. <laughs> Good, lunge that back thigh, swing the chest up. Good girls. Happy and gazing, let the right arm reach up to the sky. And the left arm reach up to the sky, look up. Slide on down, push the knee in, the front knee in, and swing and swivel that entire upper torso to the outside of the thigh. Palms pressed together. Good job. So the two options here are, you can see how organized you are by add a little mula bandha, lift up the back knee so that you're in a runner's, twisted runner's lunge. And then you slide your thumbs towards your heart, which lifts the chest off the thigh. Find yourself organized, breathe in, breathe out. Pleasant look on the face. Good job. And then easy, unwind yourself. Ah, bring the hands back by your front toes. And your favorite, Fred. Here we go. The girls are already there. This is Brenda's favorite, actually. You're going to sit your tailbone back towards your heel. Arms stay long by the front heel and the front toes flip up to your nose and you just have to suffer. Breathing shoulders down, breath full. You can, you know, wiggle around a little bit and find what you visualize. You know, there's that book of anatomy that shows insertion points, how the muscles and the tendons wrap around and the bones and where they Hook up so that you have flexibility and strength. You know, the vehicle of the body is amazing. Breathing. Trying to drop your torso over the front thigh and stretch out that leg. How is it? Yes, Susan? <laughs> you can shake your hair. <laughs> The two of you girls. Of course, Fred doesn't have a hair to shake. <laughs> and the two of you girls have these good mops. And then easy, you're going to hinge forward. Easy, let your chest, your groin drop and your chest raise up. 
So you come back into that position. Arm, hands are still by the front feet. Lift up the back knee and lift your buns a little higher so the front foot can sweep up to the sky and you can kick yourself in the bottom. And you can add a little vinyasa. You can point that toe, drop your chest down between your thumbs, flatten your feet, inhale into up dog, all the way down to the ground, Fred. And then sweep up, up, head up, chest up, head up, head. And then exhale back into down dog. Good job. Breathe in, breathe out. Easy. Back into down dog. Right leg is going to go up to the sky. Open up into fire hydrant. Arms are completely strong. Pressing the earth away. Totally engaged. Breathe in, breathe out. And then bring the leg back easy. And inhale. Exhale, sweep the knee to the nose. Inhale, kick it back up. Exhale. Kick it back up. Once more. Kick it back up. Look between your hands and step forward with the right foot all the way to the front of the mat. Remember, if you need to drag it up there, it's most important that the knee is over the top of that front foot and you've got a big space between the knee and the back, the front heel and the back knee. So slide the hips and the groin forward, sweep the chest up, drop the shoulders. And then hold on to the front knee. Easy. Should be a big distance. And then sweep the left arm up. Look up. Sleep. Sweep the right arm up. Look up. And then easy. Slide down the heart line and push that knee in and take the left arm, go to the outside, press the palms together and adjust yourself. Start in your groin, add that root lock, get settled through the feet, inhale, lift the back knee up, slide the thumbs towards the chest the center of your heart. Good job. Give it a go. Twist first. Twist first between, before you take your knee off. That's good. Now suck it up in the cojones and lift up the... Yes, yes, yes. Roll the spine. Good job. That's for your COVID shot. And then come back easy into the center. Let the hands go right by the front feet, foot. Curl the back toe. Draw the string of the back bun to the back heel. Ah, flip the toes towards your nose. And one side is always more friendly than the other. Fred, you should have Laurel or you guys go shopping and buy a couple of bricks. Foam bricks. We you have. Some. Oh, you do? Yep. Well, then you ought to have them back where the books are so that you can grab them for yoga class. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You're so obedient. Breathe. Because <laughs> they'll make you, they'll give you a little bit more uh, relief and extension through that back, that straight leg. Move your hips, breathe in, breathe out. And then easy, hinge on forward. Lift up the back knee, curl the back toes, lift up the back knee, lift your buns a little higher, and then sweep that right foot up to the sky. Kicking yourself, donkey kick. 
and then straighten the leg, point the toe, squeeze the inner elbows, lower down to your thumbs, flatten both feet, inhale into up dog, shoulders are away. Good, and then take the tail, roll over your feet into down dog, breathe in, breathe out. And easy, lower the knees down, softly, cross your feet and come back into a seated position. Uh -oh. uh. Sorry. Good. Comfy. Comfy. Comfy in that quietness. Sit easy. Let's continue balancing. We're actually moving into, I think the new moon's next week, but we got these Orionids. I think it's very exciting. If you have a clear sky, give it a go. So alternate nostril breathing. Go ahead and take your right thumb on the outside of the right nose, nostril, and your middle fingers can go in the forehead. The ring finger wants to go on the left nostril, or you can curl the middle fingers below the nose. Straighten the spine. You can support the elbow if you wish. Chin stays parallel to the earth. Exhale through both nostrils. Close off the right. Inhale through the left. Hold both nostrils and absorb the oxygen. And exhale through the right. Hold the breath empty. Draw the breath in through the right nostril. Fill up the belly all the way up to the neck. Hold the, hold the nose. Absorb. And exhale through the left. And inhale through the left. Hold both nostrils. And exhale through the right. And inhale through the right. And hold both nostrils. And exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Absorb, hold both nostrils, cap it off, and then exhale through the right. Inhale right. Hold it. Exhale, empty left. Use your belly. Draw in the breath into the back lungs. Breathe it in through the left. Expand through underneath your armpits. And exhale right. Empty. Stay elongated. Empty. Draw in through the right. And empty through the left. And draw in through the left. And empty through the right. And draw in through the left. Or the right, I mean, sorry. And empty through your left. One more round. Breathe in. Hold, absorb, empty. Hold it empty. Draw in fulfillment. Hold and absorb and empty. Bring both arms out, up and overhead. And empty, slide the hands down the heart line. Breathe in, breathe out. And let your hands settle in your lap or on your thighs. And just for a few 15, 30 seconds, just notice. Travel in that interior landscape, the unfurrowed brow, the heavy seat, the connectedness with the mother. 
that tingling at the crown of your head, that soft spot of the newborn. Just sit, more challenging than action. And then easy, let's go ahead and release the hands. Roll back onto your backs. Tuck your knees into your chest. Uh, easy. Take the knees and spin the knees, holding each kneecap. Spin the knees in big circles. That thigh bone. Massage the hip socket. Lubricate. Range of motion. Ah. Equalize. And then easy, tuck both knees into the chest and rock a little bit to release that lower back. Hold your right leg in and let your left leg go up to the sky and rotate the left foot on the ankle. Shoulder blades are and go the other direction, reverse. Keep that right thigh against the Rib cage, seven counts to lower the left leg away from your body, lengthening the, the entire leg. Om one, om two, reaching out through the heel. Om three, now point the toes. Om four, om five, om six, heel touches the earth. Om seven, hold the right thigh in at the body. And now easy, lift the head, kiss the knee, and turn your head so you lower your right ear onto the mat. You let your right arm go out at shoulder level. Push the left heel away from you so that left leg is now straight. Inhale, and keep the right thigh above the waist, roll off to the left. And then you can go ahead and let that top arm, the right arm, join you on the grass. And then sweep the right hand across the eyes and roll, looking away from the right knee, which is weighted down by your left hand. Spinal twist. Make sure you're on that left hip pad. Good job. And then you can take that right hand if you wish and kind of massage your bottom. Good job. Massage your lower back. And easy. Give yourself a little extra tactile spank just to keep that circulation and that nervous system oriented. And then easy, roll back onto your backs. Bring the knees in, the feet onto the ground and bounce the hips, realign the hips and the shoulders. Inhale, exhale, tuck your knees into your chest. Keep the back of your skull on the ground. And hold that left thigh in at your chest. Stretch the right leg up to the sky and rotate. Trace the face of the analog clock. Full rotation clockwise and counterclockwise of the foot and the ankle. So the foot is to the sky. 
Inhale, keeping the left leg at the at the chest. Gonna lower the right leg down, seven counts. Reach out and elongate that leg, om one, om two, om three, point the toe, om four, om five, om six. Heel touches the earth, om seven. Right thigh is at the waist, breathing. And now softly inhale, exhale, bring your nose to your knee. Turn your head and get the left ear on the mat. Push the right heel so you're flexed in the right leg. Open your left arm out at shoulder level. Inhale, and as you exhale, pull that leg across your body. Make sure you're on the hip pad. Join that left hand so that your shoulders are stacked up. And then easy, let the left hand draw across your eyes. Create that torque, that ringing out of the waist. Easy breathing. Breathing in and breathing out. Enjoying this incredible vista. And easy spinal twist, massaging the organs, bringing them back into a perfect balance. And then easy, go ahead and roll softly back onto your backs. Undo your hips and shoulders. Bring the feet in towards your hips and bounce your hips down on the ground. Boom, 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 boom. Give yourself one floater. Inhale, hips up, arms float up and overhead. And exhale, lower the spine back down, arms reach back towards your heel. And easy. Stretch your legs out, lift your head up, stretch your arms, squeeze the arms about five, six inches off the ground. Head up, inhale, chest up, shoulders up. Lift your shoulders up, baby. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Breathe in a little more breath. And easy, exhale. Relax. Try not to squirm. Flip your palms so they're to the sky or on your belly. Easy. Allow yourself every opportunity to maximize the quietness, to settle in absolutely the center of the paradox so that the outer body is smooth and quiet, surrounded by that honey-like nectar of the gods, the amrit. And the internal body is circulating, realigning, flushing, feeding, soothing, healing. Eyes are settled in the sockets. The brow is unfurrowed. The face is smooth. The large muscles have dropped away from the bones. Feel yourself excellent, rejuvenated, relaxed, restored, renewed. Breathable and permeable, permeable skin.
honey like nectar, the honey that sweet, sweet, sweet honey surrounds you, imbues you. invite ourselves suddenly to ride the change in the light to appreciate the harvest of our dedication to appreciate our standing up for our rights walk out loud we advocate for the causes we believe in invite ourselves to continue our dedication to our strength of our vessel, our strength of our top temple, our resiliency, our enthusiasm, our pizzazz, our vibrancy. Stir up the alchemy in our minds and in our body, in the heart and in our soul. Allow ourselves to be alive. We encourage ourselves to be powerful, compassionate, kind. So easy. Let yourself soften back into that witness, that position of noticing how sweetly you rest, how good you feel, how ready. So breathe in and breathe out. Find yourselves coming back into the vessel, into the entering the temple through the vehicle of the breath. Breathe in, breathe out. and easy. Let your breath get a little larger, a little fuller. Breathe into your fingertips. Slide your thumbs across your fingertips. Reconnect the nervous system. Inhale and on the exhale, bring the hands to the heart. And gather in all that love light and all that magic that magic of who you are and how you are, what you offer and what you receive. And easy, lace your fingers, twine your fingers and stretch your arms up and overhead, stretching the palms away from your crown. Mm -hmm. Step your straight legs together and point your toes so that you're long, long, long. Push your heels, inhale, exhale. Tuck your knees into your chest and roll off to either side you wish. Find your Orionid and easy. When you're ready, press yourself to a seated position. Ah, find yourself easy, rooted, grounded, earth bounded. And then together, let's stretch it out from the wings up to the fingertips, up to the sky. Press the hands together. Baby finger and thumbs glue, open up the petals of the lotus blossom and slide that chalice, your cup, your full lotus mudra down your heart line till the thumbs nestle at the breastplate. Inhale, exhale, fingertips come together, bow the brow towards the heart and cup the palms around that precious little flower blossom. 
feel that alchemy. We bow, we greet, we honor, we welcome that incredible dancing incandescent spirit that lives within ourselves and others. We know the sameness of our breath and the sameness of our blood. We thank ourselves for being present and a part of, and thank you so much for being part of this new and adventure into the cosmos. Namaste, I love you all so much. Thank you so much. Namaste. Thank each other because you're part of the crew. <laughs> don't forget to go outside tonight. It's going to be big. Maybe. I don't know, really. I just say that with authority. 